Okay, this topic about is about the trigonometric integrals. Uh, it's an integral that involves somehow trigonometric functions. And also, I recall quickly the most important identities or formulas that we need to use in this. Okay, and number one and number two are Pythagorean identity. Okay. Uh, Involve sine cosine, tangent secant. Number three, number four is a half angle, half angle formula for the sine and cosine. And number five is a double angle formula. All inside. There are more formulas, and this is you can see. However, this is the most important that we are using in this topic. Okay. Okay, when you have exponent odd number, you apply always this idea. Look, you take advantage of this cosine extra we have. So you call u equal sign du is equal cosine x dx. It's exactly the same the thing we have here. This integral is u cubic du is u to the fourth power over 4 plus c or much better sine to the 4 power x divided by 4 plus c that's the final answer ok when well the one exponent is odd or both at odd you take the smaller odd no even no and break it down like that you see sine square x a cosine square x and you separate one sign extra for the dx part this is the the part that you separate for the differential because it's obvious that the substitution that you apply is u equal cosine why? because when you differentiate that the u is equal derivative a cosine minus sine x dx and this look like very very similar to this except you will need extra negative okay uh -huh. But this sign and this cosine you apply Pythagorean Pythagorean identity. No? For example, this sign you replace by one minus cosine square. This cosine square is the same, and this is sine x dx. Pythagoras was the idea. Now let's go to the substitution. U substitution when we need the complete differential minus here, minus here. This is minus, 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 one minus u square because cosine is u times u square d u. Okay, this is our integral. We apply the true the property. And you change the sign, uh, you apply this through the property is here u square multiplication this and this minus u for no? uh -huh. but the negative sign of change completely the situation. This is u for uh, minus u square du. Mm -hmm. Now, anti derivative is u to the fifth power over five minus u to the third power over 3 uh -huh. plus C no? and in conclusion express it using the original variable is cosine 5 power x divided by 8, 5 minus cosine raised to the third power x divided by 3 plus C mm -hmm. ok in this case both exponents are odd numbers then you, I recommend you take the smaller, the 3, and separate it. So this, this integral is now cosine square to x sine to the fifth power to x to x. If 
you select u equal sine to x, I know the derivative is, is really sine cosine, is 2 cosine 2x dx. It's exactly or similar to the thing we have here. We need extra 2 here and divided by 1 half. And here, in this cosine, you apply pentagon. Case 1 minus u, 1 minus u, 1 minus sine square. One minus sine square. Sine square to x. Okay, so this one half using the directly substitution is integral one minus u square. Mm -hmm. This is u to the fifth power. And this is d. One half, you write it through the property. Here is u to the fifth power minus u to the seventh power. Now, once you derive this, this one half can multiply u to the six power over six, minus u to the eight power over eight. Uh -huh. Is then uh, u to the six over twelve minus u to the eight over sixteen no? plus it. Always present using the original variable is u is sine, this is um, sine to the 6 power of 2x divided by 12 uh -huh. minus sine to the a power of 2x divided by 16 plus the final answer.